What is up everyone? So we've got another gear review. Uh, this week I actually have little scissors to open the box with so I'm not using sharp. It's still sharp. You get it. So all right. Save with scissors. Especially kitchen shears like that. What do we got? Oh! Look at that. Varsity all-in-one poly neck pants. These are shut brand. Right there. Hi. Yeah, white. I've seen these occasionally at like Goodwills. Um, good place to find sometimes after uh, football seasons, especially like high school ones. Um, guys aren't continuing on to college football, so they kind of they give away their gear or their parent whatever. And sometimes you'll find, sometimes, you'll find like some of the more under gear stuff, like the little compression shirts with the little padded shoulders. So I've seen these types. These are more what I find for youth sizes. This is, although, I'll say this. Look, anyways. Whoa. Really? Wow. Usually the ones that I have, that I see, but they've also been used. These are really amazing. How, oh. I like the fact that it's got stretchiness right there so that you don't have this thing rolling up and around and like it'll inch, it'll suction around your bottom of your knee. I mean this is very, this is good for very basic stuff. Like if you need pants, this is really good. Breathes well on the inside. And these are very good for like practice pants. It says all in one poly knit pants but they're good for practice because feel really durable. Uh, and they got a little belt. Can you guys see that little bump there? It's got a belt. And it got the little D-rings. It cinches around. Like I said, they're good for practice. You know, they've got... What is that? I cannot see through fabric. What am I trying to do here? It's, they're 100% polyester. Machine wash cold, hang dry, line dry, whatever. Basically pull them out of the washer and then just like clip them up on a hanger in the shower, like that. Yeah, it's got all the pads you need. You know, it's got the hip pads, it's got the tail pad. It's a little big for what I would like, but again, these are really good beginner practice stuff. A lot of guys on my team tend to use girdles, um, and it's all dependent on position on top of that. Sometimes linemen have this, but they don't have knee pads. Other times they have knee pads. Kind of depends on the personal idea, but if you're just looking for all around, I need to get something for practice, these are really good. I do like, I do like this stitching though. Makes it really strong. You know, the belt, as you can see, the belt is not going to come undone, so even if you do get tugged on, once you cinch it up. It's simple because you just lace it up like a shoe. Best thing I would say, now this is my own thing, when you lace it, see this is the this is the front, the outside. When you're lacing it up, lace it through the back side first. That way, when it comes together, you can tie it off just fine and they'll meet up and it'll look nice. It'll look nice. That way you're not like pulling them from the inside and then you get this little like bunched up look. That never looks good. But, you know, these pads are integrated, so you don't have to worry about anything. And they're they're thin enough that if you have to, you can also slide game pants over these and whatnot. Oh, wow. Real sturdy. They bend around the edge, which is good, because that means it'll bend more around your thing. But right there, it's real rigid. It feels like there's a piece of metal in it. But yeah, the thigh pad, which is what most people use. Most people don't use knee pads because sometimes it, as they bring their knee up, it'll pull too much and it won't let them allow full range of motion of their knee. I know receivers sometimes don't use it. Sometimes they're crazy. <laughs> That's receivers for you. Anyways, yeah, I'm really in love with these. Uh, I will try to find some good use for them. My season's coming up soon and our away uniforms are white. So these might be really good for me to use underneath my white pants so that I'm not contrasting in color. Links below for if you want to go buy these. All right, I'll catch you guys in my next review.